Welcome, the Dark Souls Goro here with a co-op guide. If you're having trouble co-oping with a friend, then there could be a number of reasons why. Once you have the soapstone from the Forest of the Fallen Giants, and you've made sure the person trying to summon you is human by using a human effigy, then the next rule is that you have to be roughly within 10 levels of each other to co-op. Also your soul memory, which is the total amount of souls you've accumulated, has to be within 50,000 souls of each other also. You can find this number in your player status screen in the top right hand corner. Burning a human effigy in a bonfire will stop all summoning for up to an hour. You will see the soapstone icon with the red line under your health bar to see that it is still in effect. Another reason could be that you have joined the Company of Champions Covenant in Majula, as this restricts co oping for the entire game or until you leave the Covenant. You can also buy the name engraved ring from the cat in Majula that if you and your friend both equip, will make it easier to find each other. Also make sure you have the cross region play set to restricted in the options if you and your friend live in the same country, as that will make it easier for your summon sign to show up in their game. You can also both join the same covenant, which can help to see each other's summon signs. The Heirs to the Sun Covenant is the best covenant for co-op. Happy co-oping, and remember to like and subscribe for more Dark Souls 2. Thanks for watching.